okay look this video is for somebody that wants to build transgenerational wealth that will be transferred to their children their children's children and children's children's children like literally to just build empires of wealth and somebody who wants to live large who wants and desires to live the soft life like i've literally added to my instagram bio that i am an advocate for the hashtag soft life like i desire to go out on a yacht every other weekend i desire to drink wine every other weekend to eat in the best restaurants to you know travel around the world to zanzibar bali you know the bahamas wherever it is that is the life that i want i want my children to live comfortably my grandchildren to live comfortably and i just don't want to struggle like imagine that every time that god places an idea within my heart and my spirit and then i have to start calculating where will i get the funds and this and that like i just want to get to a place whereby god gives me an idea i immediately execute it because well i have the provision not only so like i want to get to a place where i'm not over calculative about my money like if you guys were to see my journal right now like oh my god no it's not supposed to be like that like where everything is over calculated like before even tithing i feel like oh my god where will i get that money that i'm tithing if you are that person that does not want to have to feel that way every other month when they have to pay the bills where like you can't even get a new set of clothes for yourself in a whole year then this video is certainly for you okay i just said a lot of things yes i do want to be a rich auntie like really really giving those rich and vibes that's the life that i desire that's the life that i want so in this video i am going to be taking you through a few affirmations that i saw on pinterest on financial abundance financial prosperity which i found very profound and out of this world and i'm just going to share those with you i hope that you actually um you know take this into your daily routine that as i grow you also grow and that we may be those christian trailblazers i'm excited for this this is actually a prayer first and then the affirmations later it says lord cause me to be a magnet for money wealth and divine opportunities so that i may be a blessing to your kingdom catapults me to greatness give me the keys to success and the power to excel protect and bless my assets my good name my reputation because under your wings i dwell bless me so that i may be a blessing to nations and give me the anointing to succeed cause me to be the head and never ever the tail above and not beneath and always in the lead the finances i need will know my name and my address the right people and the right opportunities present themselves to me today and every other day you are my source my power my healer my deliverer the author and finisher of my faith through you my ways are being made prosperous god blesses the work that i do and my labor is not in vain everything that i touch becomes gold everything that i touch the lord causes to prosper i am a lender and never a borrower the head and never the tail above and not beneath i always have more than enough i live in abundance i thrive in abundance i am a blessing to others i pay all of my bills on time i am debt free favor finds me wherever i go i always earn more than i spend money comes easily and effortlessly to me money allows me to help other people all of my needs are being met in christ jesus according to his riches and not my own i faithfully pay my tithes and god blesses me with more than enough
isn't God a good God? Like, I'm sure that if we continue to affirm ourselves in this way, we begin to see ourselves as such, and that begins to manifest. Indeed, we become the magnet for riches. Our ideas begin to manifest forth, add value to other people's lives, such that they see that value and actually pay for every product and service that we're offering. Like, just remember to go out there and put in the work and know that God is with you. Like, God desires for us to live comfortably lives. Imagine how rich Abraham was and we pray for that same blessing that was upon Abraham to be upon us that we may live so the Bible talks about how beds of the air have nests and foxes have holes but the son of man has nowhere to lay his head like we'll never know whether Jesus was really poor but in that case, it just means that probably like even though he was traveling as he was preaching the gospel, there was a time that he probably had no inn where he could sleep because, well, back then there were inns. But yes, we'll never really know. But in my understanding, like Jesus struggled at some point, like that's why he had to come to earth and kind of live our lives so that he may have a better understanding of whatever we go through and you know if jesus went through that why should i a child of god would jesus himself died on the cross for suffer or struggle the way that he did or how the people of old actually did before jesus died like it, it just doesn't add up that is not the life for me like jesus died on the cross for me so that i consolata i consolata can live the soft life Jesus really did die for me and he died for you too so that we may not struggle you know like we are not meant to struggle in this life like what we do should manifest forth and bring forth fruit because God is good like that the blood is still the blood the blood of Jesus still works today and that blood is meant to give us a, a plain slate a clean slate where we start all over again and I'm sure poverty is just not one of those things that are on that slate. Or even if God gave us a slate where there was something else, I'm sure poverty isn't one of those things that we're going to be there. There'll be like prosperity, good health, you know, all of those nice things. So Jesus died for me. Yes, me. And yes, you. So that we will not have to struggle, but live soft, okay? And then Mark Wahlberg actually said this quote that I found very profound. He says, God never gives you a dream that matches your budget. He's not checking your bank account. He is checking your faith. So it is time that we lift our faith, knowing that God is the author and finisher of our faith. And he can do all things but fail. He has never lost a battle. He has a track record of keeping his word. So if we believe that God can do it, he surely will come through and do it. So we trust that whatever idea that God has placed on the inside of you, he will cause to manifest, to give you the finances that you need. All you have to do is have that currency of faith. It's not about your bank account, about you lifting up your faith and knowing that God can come through because he is, he owns a thousand cattle on a thousand hills. He owns every creature that you see on this earth, the clouds, the moon, the sun, the stars, everything. And imagine that he personally crafted you like in the palm of his hands. He can do anything for you, really. You can do all things. You can do all things by fail Cause you've never lost the battle No, you've never lost a battle And I know, I know You never will That's a song by Elevation Church. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that our lives keep moving forward. We keep moving in purpose and God's plan for us and yeah this is the end of the YouTube video I hope you enjoyed it please leave in the comment section anything that you'd want us to film on anything that helps us to move forward I love you so much but God loves you even more we walk in purpose eh, eh, eh.